Hey Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and being here with me. It really does mean a lot. Um, this is going to be a tarot reading focused on your person and what they will say when they reach out next. So we'll see if we can get any sentences, words, phrases that are coming to you from this person. Uh, if you enjoy this content, feel free to drop a like and also to subscribe to get updates for readings for your sign. Um, and also if you'd like to join the membership for the channel to get extended versions and bonus videos, please feel free to do that. Um, otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what's coming up. When they'll reach out and what they'll say when they do make contact with you. So let's have a look. Okay, I feel like there is a regret coming up. This person is looking back, um, but I feel like there's a message of love. Okay, the Queen of Cups, I'm getting like this person wants to say they still care. Okay, they still care about a situation. Um, they're building something up here. I also feel like they still care about you or they've got some news. I've got some news here for you, uh, Water Signs. Okay. It is not only necessary to love, it is necessary to say so. Okay, so they want to tell you how they feel. And I feel for a lot of you, it's like, I still love you. I still care. Um, I don't want to walk away from this. I'm regretting this. Okay, these types of things. Let's pull out a few more cards, see if we can narrow it down. Okay, they've got the devil. Capricorn may be coming through here. This person may be being a little bit manipulative though, or strategic in how they're approaching you. I've got the four of pentacles. This person may not be doing too well. They're reaching out because they want your help. They're reaching out because they want a helping hand. Last card. What is it? Meditate and contemplate Pisces energy. Okay. They're wrestling between their head and heart right now. They've got Cappy and Piscean energy around them. So lots of up and downs. They're trying to be practical, yet their heart is taking them in a different direction. Okay. Pisces is an excessive sign, so is... Um, the devil, not Capricorn, but the devil can be quite excessive. So this person has been doing has been doing too much of something and they'll probably tell you it. I get that it's destructive behavior though. So I'm getting a message that someone's going to tell you they've been partying too much, they've been smoking too much, they've been doing something in excess, they've been overworking themselves because they might not be doing too well. Okay, they're trying to cope with the situation here, especially if you guys have recently disconnected. Um, the focus is on family. Okay, so they're trying to spend time with their family and probably business as well. A four of pentacles, they're, um, they're going to tell you like they've withdrawn from something. So it's like I've withdrawn from studies or, um, you know, I've withdrawn from my friends or I've just, I've gone quiet or I've distanced myself. I get that this person might use these words like I've distanced, I've withdrawn, I've backed away from a situation. So even if you guys hook up and talk, they may say, uh, you know, I've, I've pulled away from you because X, Y, and Z. So, and I feel like this person may have been promiscuous and sleeping around. The devil can be like one night stands. It's like sexual chemistry. So I get that there might be someone here that has, has said to you, you know, I've been with someone else or um, I'm sleeping around or I'm doing X, Y, and Z. They're not hiding it. So they're going to tell you this, obviously, but they still care. And I'm getting a message that they still love you. And they'll probably tell you like, I love you, but I'm doing these things. I love you, but I've backed away. She holds the Holy Grail here. So I'm getting a message that this person's going to be like, I thought I found the one in you, or I thought you'd be the one I'd marry. I thought, I thought you were it. Like, I thought you were the one I'd be with. Um... And they'll probably tell you why they reached out because these hands are here. So they'll, they'll probably say like, I reached out to get your help with something. So I feel like there may be someone who wants your help. 
you know, maybe you always used to give them advice or you were always there for them or you guys used to be really close and, and like best friends, lovers, whatever it was. And they feel like they need that from you now because of what they're going through this 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 being excessive it's probably what they've what they've been going through um with the devil they they may even have news for you that something like pretty tragic has happened in their life um like you know something they may even tell you like their car broke down or someone got robbed or something was stolen from them or You know something fell apart for them i feel like it could even be like them saying i've fallen apart or it's like something in their life something pretty drastic in their life has fallen apart and it's sort of shaken this person up a little bit um but i get a message like they feel they need to say this to you before it's too late uh what a sign so i feel like they had to tell you something maybe you guys broke up maybe you ended things or maybe you know you had an argument and they felt like they had to tell you how they feel even if something you did hurt them or upset them they felt like they owed it to themselves and they owe it to you to at least say you know what i did my part i put my feelings out there i put my heart in the line there's nothing more that i can do but at least i did that so like i said in their eyes it's um i feel i need to say this before it's too late maybe maybe they're hoping that things could change and you'd look back or maybe five of swords is just closure but there's three people involved here so i get that this person may even tell you they're with someone new they're in a new relationship but they still have feelings for you you know they're, they're in the seeing stage they're in the talking stage with someone new uh and they feel like they may have to tell you that the devil the devil can be deception so they could be a little bit manipulative or strategic in their approach. So for some of you, not for all, but for some, this person has a hidden agenda as to why they're reaching out. Maybe they want to pull out your heartstrings a little bit. But I do feel like there's genuine feelings there. Um, but I feel like they have new feelings and it could be for another person and they'll want to tell you this. Uh, water signs. It could be a new water sign. It could be a Capricorn that's in their life. But it's a new emotional beginning and for some of you i want to say that this person will be like i found i found someone new i'm i'm falling in love again or i've even fallen out of love um so you know it's it's going to be overwhelming but that's what these messages are bringing um it's real and it's raw but i feel like you know something's necessary so it, it feels like they'll say it was necessary for me to do this or it's necessary for me to reach out and tell you this or ask for help or tell you I'm with this new person. They felt it was necessary. Whatever agenda was behind it to get revenge, to move on from you, to give you closure, to just see your reaction. You know, the devil can make us do certain things because it's a tempting thing. But the devil, you know, we associate those seven sins, right? So whatever it is, wrath um lust you know whatever sort of maybe sort of ego related things uh, agendas i should say are coming up it may be the case for some again there's a lot of people watching so it's not going to apply to everyone uh, obviously you know this person um they were in your life you guys had a connection you know you were attached so you know them better than anyone else probably so you will be able to judge that for yourself but um I don't think it's completely disingenuous because I think there is emotions still there and they feel like there might be some hope here, okay? Underneath it all, whatever you guys have been through, there may be some hope for them. Um, if it's not the case, Four of Pentacles, they felt like they want to tell you whatever it is they want to tell you and then they want to disappear. And some of you may see that. Some of you may see them do that. Uh, So we've got one, four, one, four, six, one, four, five, one, four, five, six, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it sort of matches up with things I've been saying. One, they've got someone else. There's a new beginning. They want to start fresh. That's why they're reaching out. The four, they're working on themselves. They've been, you know, working on them, their spiritual self, their self journey. Five, they had something big that happened in their life. 
or sex, they're intuitively still linked to you some way. There's an intuitive link here. But uh, I'll wrap it up there, Water Signs. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. It really does mean a lot. Um, and I hope to be in touch again very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.